Yeah, the uh, the recovery of Dragon uh, after Splashdown is that there'll be uh, a couple of uh, what we call fast boats will come up to the to the capsule at that point and make sure uh, everything is safe on the outside of the capsule uh, for it to be uh, hoisted on board the uh, recovery ship. And then at that point, the recovery ship is is moving in and in communications with the fast boats. And once uh, everybody gives the uh, thumbs up that we're ready to be hoisted aboard, it'll get lifted aboard you know, by a crane and cradled on board the uh, aft portion of the ship. And then at that point, once it's secure on, on the uh, back deck of the ship, then they can open the hatch and uh, it'll be time for us to get out. Hopefully that answered your question. Thank you, Doug. Uh, so next up, we have David Curley with Discovery Channel. Uh, crew, Dragon Crew, thank you, and Commander of the Station, thank you for taking the questions. Uh, everybody knows there are parts of flight that are extreme. It is reentry. In this case, the chief engineer of SpaceX says he's a little bit worried about plasma and potentially getting into the Super Draco pods. Bob, you said you weren't nervous. You're a lot closer now. What do you think? And Chunks, did you just say you're going to have a bag ready, which is completely understandable? It's flashed down. Thank you. Well, howdy. I think, uh, you know, as we get closer, I think we really focus more and more on our preparations uh, to be ready for the splashdown activities. Uh, we spent the day today working through the onboard training that will refamiliarize us with the splashdown activities, uh, what our responsibilities will be, the, the things that we'll monitor. And I know that the, uh, the SpaceX team, the chief engineer there, and of course the NASA team are, are all looking closely at all the, the things that could possibly uh, that they wish they had more information on or that uh, that they feel the most uncertain about and and they share those with us on a routine basis we got an update on the flight readiness review activities and uh, i know that the the chief engineer's job is to make that list of things that that are areas of concern and then uh, kind of balance that that risk with uh, what they currently know and, and with going forward and, and that information's all been shared with us and you know, Splashdown is closer than it was the last time we were asked questions about it, but uh, I still don't feel nervous about it. And, and really, we're focused on the things that we'll need to do to be as safe as possible as, as we come back. And uh, it does take a little bit of time, so I'll answer for Doug and say that we'll both have uh, the appropriate hardware ready should uh, we start feeling you know, a little bit uh, sick, sick on board while we're, we're in the vehicle uh, after Splashdown. But uh, we know the team is uh, going to get us pulled up and on board the ship uh, relatively quickly. And so uh, we're expecting to, to be as prepared as we can be and have a really good feeling of about, about being kind of under control as we get through all that. 